So let's take a minute to learn about using grid questions. Grid questions are really efficient ways to get a lot of answers from kids with very little screen space. Um, I didn't understand what grid questions were very much though until I saw a really good example of them. Once I saw that example, all became clear. So let's go ahead and start making a grid question here. The first thing we want to do is uh, under add item, we'll go to add item and we're going to say let's make that a grid question. Now a grid question is good if you want a lot of similar responses but you don't want to ask it in about five or six questions. So the example that we're going to use here is to uh, list some names of celestial objects like oh, you know the Sun or Mercury things like that on the left hand side of our page and across the top we're going to list the names of those objects like stars or planets, asteroids or comets and then all kids have to do is check which each of those is uh, in our grid. So again, instead of asking five or six questions, in one question we get a lot of information from kids. It's just a really, really good uh, question type to use. So let's go ahead and finish this out. So up here under our question we're going to say what is each of the objects on the left? I'm not going to pretend that this is a great question. I'm just going to show you by this and you'll be able to write better ones. Okay, so what we want to do is rows are always what goes down the left hand side of our page. So those are going to be the names of each of our objects. So let's just go ahead and put some in there. So uh, this is a asteroid and then we can just uh, we can just tab down. Here's a famous star Let's put Jupiter for a planet. Here's a comet that we could put in here. And we probably could use maybe another planet. So let's go Mercury. And that's good enough for this one. So those are going to go down the left side of our grid. Now across the, the column labels, which go across the top, are going to be the actual different uh, types of objects, the celestial objects, so a star, a planet, I keep tabbing through here, an asteroid, tab again, and a comet. Those are going to be our four choices. And um, now, if you're not careful and click this one, they can pick two or three of these. That's not what you want. You want only one right answer per row. So I'm going to say just one response per row. I click done, and there's what it looks like. So you can see when you're done, what you get is this nice tight little grid with the names of different celestial objects on the left, and then you just pick which one it is on, uh, as you go through. Um, using grids is just a really, really great tool for many types of questions, uh, and uh, it works for quizzes, but it also works for like attitude surveys and things like that. It's just a good, good question type that I think you'll use quite a bit.